Hello everybody. I hope you're having a wonderful day today. Um, my most asked question is how do I fertilize my water culture orchids? So I thought that I would go over that with you today. Um, I use Better Grow. This is easy to find in my area and I have used this with really good results. It has no urea. Um, for some reason Urea is something that they recommend you not use for the um, root health of your orchids. This is a 20, 14, 13 solution, and I'll show you what I do. The directions, always read your directions each time before you fertilize. You're going to feed it every watering with one teaspoon per gallon, or you're going to use one tablespoon per gallon of water per month. What I do is I use the one teaspoon per gallon. I use that smaller amount. I do not use one tablespoon per gallon of water. Um, I did that once and it, I did not have good results. So I use one teaspoon per gallon. Um, I do this every month, usually around the middle of the month. And it's, I just remember it better uh, to do it at the middle of the month. So that is what I do. I've already got this um, mixed up. And this is one teaspoon per gallon. One teaspoon per gallon. Okay, what I do is I have this little measuring cup and this one holds two ounces. So I use about two ounces in my miniature. Okay, I just put that in the water that's, that it's already standing in. This is the water that it's already been standing in for about, oh, I'd say about a week. And I just add it to the water that's already in. Okay, this one I'm going to put four ounces. This is a regular size Phalaenopsis, so I'm going to use about four ounces of that mixture in this one. And I'm going to put, oh, about two ounces. Do you see how this Dendrobium is not in a whole lot of water? I'm going to put about two ounces, one of these little cups full uh, in that one as well. What I'm going to do is I'm going to let that set for 20 minutes and then I'm going to drain it and I just keep a, I keep this pail here. It's just easier that way. Um, I don't put this down the sink. What I do is I actually um, reuse it on whatever needs some fertilizer out in my yard or on my other house plants. So I'll show you some of my others and what I'm planning on doing with those as far as fertilizing is concerned as well. Okay, for these, these all have uh, different needs. So I'll, so I'll go ahead and just show you which ones I'm going to fertilize, which ones I'm not, and why. Um, this huge fowl here, I've not had it in water culture but about two months. So I'm going to wait about another month to fertilize that one. So on the next, on the next fertilizing cycle next month, um, I will be fertilizing this one. Uh, this yellow fowl has been in bloom for about four months now, and it is actually coming out of its bloom cycle. As you see, it's just got two blooms left. So I'm going to go ahead and um, I'm going to fertilize this one. It has been in water culture for about three months, so I think I'm going to go ahead and fertilize that one. Um, my fowl intensity just came into bloom. So I don't believe I'm going to uh, fertilize it this time. And um, this one right here, I've just had this miniature in full water culture now for about three months. It has this spike that it's working on, so I am definitely going to fertilize that one. So I hope that gives you some ideas on how I fertilize and when I fertilize um, and you all have a highly favored, deeply loved, and greatly blessed day, and we'll see you next time.